I'm Kyle. I'm Zibi. And the two other members, unfortunately, are not here. Our business is called the Maritime Experience. And our slogan is, is it one of the top, is one time greatest shipbuilding city in the world, Sunland. First, I'm going to bring you to the history of the shipyards in Sunland. The records of shipbuilding in the way go back 600 years. They've went on between 1346 to the mid 1900s. These are some of the ships that Sunland built. Our key partners, the main ones that we'll have, are the Royal Patriots, the Sunland Council, and the Mayor of Sunland. And the key activities we're going to do is in the, if, if going to, we are going to have a ship, a maritime experience, giving an history of what Sunderland was back and what Sunderland is now, and will tell the world how beautiful this place can be if they come here and more investments will definitely draw into this community. We look for a professional history teller or a, um, somebody that worked in the marine field before to give us some good history, to tell people that will come over what this place was like before. And we have this visual experience giving to people anytime they come to visit the place. And in our setting, our business plan is we're going to have sales going on inside this building. Is, that, is, is, is it going to be a ship or is it going to be a house will build like a ship, look like one, or we introduce some shipping elements into it, make it really very attractive so that we'll be like trying to put it in one attractive place in the world where people will just, ah, there's a sight to behold and there's a sight to see. So we'll be able to sell things like the um, magazine experience, um, a maritime experience magazine. We're going to sell a T-shirt, put in the logo of the maritime experience. We're going to sell like food, uh, traditional English food, fish food, other things of interest, which we're going to sell. We are still going to give video shows and games inside the place where, the, especially students coming in, will be able to have some good time to play with. And other, we talk, we're talking of restaurant. We have a restaurant, we have a bar, where people will just relax, enjoy themselves when they come in. So that, that's a way of getting money out of the place. We're going to have a live band or just music. We have a section where people can have fun, dance, just about having fun and give, like, taking back history of what has happened before. It's, if it's possible, we have boat cruises where you just go around and run the sea and come back and have some fun. Then we have this free function room. What we're planning on is if you want to have a wedding or anything, you have it there. But you will not bring in your food or your drink. We'll sell them for you. In that way, we'll make more money. The key resources is how to get a ship or a building that looks like one. That's the plan. Then we look for, we have shops inside where we sell things, which I've already said before. And we have these visual glasses. When you come in, we give you visual glasses. That would be among your, the fee you pay when you're entering. We just give it to you. Then I've talked about music before. We've talked about videos. Those are the resources. And before we start with having more volunteers to help out with this. Our target market is going to be the local people in Sunland. Getting attracted to it. Tourists from around the world. To keep them interested in the ship. Schools will be a great target market. Just want to come and visit it. And uh, the travel industries, we're going to try and get them to sell brochures, show brochures of our, our business to show them the maritime experience. And museums to hopefully try and give us a, a show of what we are. Our advertisers are going to be social media such as Facebook and Twitter. We'll also create our own website to show what we do. Um, we show pro promotional items such as t-shirts, our logo, um, 
I also want to go on free papers because it's cheap. It's a very easy way to attract people. I also want to have public, public relationships. Right. And our competitors, um, one of them is Sunderland Museum and Winter Gardens. Um, they will be competitors, but also we can use them to kind of help us with the history of things. We've got the North East Aircraft Museum. They don't just look at aircraft, they also look at um, the naval history of the local area. So we can also get involved with them. They may be competitors, but they can also be helpers. And Hartlepool's Maritime Experience, they're a massive competitor because they already offer the same sort of thing. But ours is virtual, so it's going to be a lot better. And the National Glass Centre, we can also use them as well um, for their history and um, to kind of build in the experience. Now the cost structure, we will have to look at the cost of the building and the ship renovation, the decorations and the, and the installations. Now uh, the, the building of the ship renovation averages from around £500,000 to a million pounds. Um, £500,000 is for an average of a second hand ship which will be done up and the building would, I would say, nearer the million pounds. Um, the decorations would be about £1,000 and the installation is about £10,000. The revenues would be the lifetime members when we finally get established, the tourists and the visitors, restaurant and bar and organised activities. And the revenue and customers. Um, we've kind of gone for three different um, sections here. We've gone for a good year, um, an average year and a really bad year. Now, for our good year, as you can see, um, an, an average of around 150 customers. That's worked out of 4,166 customers a month, and that's 416 customers a day. Um, and this is charging an £8 each person, and getting an average income a month of around £100,000, £1.2 million a year, and £14.4 million in two years. This is our average year, which is an average of 85,000 customers within the year, and that again is 7,000 customers a month, 233 a day. Charging £8 per person, getting an average income of £56,000 a month, £672,000 a year and, eight points, um, and an average of about £8 million in two years. And a bad year is about 50,000 customers, um, which is 4,166 customers a month, 138 customers a day, getting an average income of £33,000 a month, £399,000 a year and about £5 million in two years. Thank you for listening. Do you have any questions? This time, uh, I thought that was a good presentation. Yes, yeah, so there's certain business issues clear, everyone presented well, it was lively, mm -hmm. well structured, um, some, some, some good key, key points. Um, I suppose it's convincing how we get, because obviously there's, there's quite a lot of outlay, how you would get to get started in it. Have you any thought where you get the money from? Um, well, um, we can either go to the National Lottery Fund, which do a lot of the English heritage stuff. They support a lot of their um, local places like the George Army Lifeboats and see them. Um, they get their funding from the National Lottery and we can go to the English Heritage and loads of other places. Um, you've got like um, grants, business grants, we, and we can look at other massive investors so like the local council could possibly give us some money or just some private investors. The, the Great Britain, which is um, Brunel's first, the first all metal ship, was the money got came from the lottery for renovating that, which was all falling apart. They put it all back together again. Now it's a, a thriving centre in Bristol. So those kinds of funds, mm -hmm. if you've got huge support from large numbers of people, which you could get yeah. for something like this, um, mm -hmm. that's the kind of source of funding. But I, I agree. I think you, you had a very clear, mm -hmm. yeah. well presented. Yeah. Set of and some and a bit of passion in there. There was passion, yeah. 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 yeah, which was good. Yeah. I think you all spoke really well. Yeah. Each of you did speak really well. Um, and you know, if you had to do it again, I think you could possibly go in this room with even greater confidence because you can do it. It's something that you can naturally do. So do take that on board. Uh, the slides were nice and easy to read. Yeah. Um, I particularly like the bit that you'd you looked at what would be the beginning of a projected cash flow, uh, which you'd, you know, you'd thought that through. Um, where did you get your numbers from? What did you base that on? Um, I kind of did all the number work. <laughs> I am absolutely <laughs> dreadful at maths. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd just have a go. <laughs> well, I think you had a look at 
the footfall in certain yeah. other places, didn't you? Um, we looked at the Hartlepool Maritime Museum, which, right. obviously, which averagely get about 150,000 a year on a really good year. Right. Yeah. Um, so we kind of based it around that, and then we just worked on a lower scale to see. That's fair enough. Yeah. That's, that's, that's a good start. Yeah, it's yeah. yeah. a good basis. It's a good way of doing it. Yeah. 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 Uh -huh. It's a good way to think. Uh, worst case scenario. <laughs> yes, I mean. I hope you can do it. I'd love to come and visit I'd, it. I'd, 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 I'd be a lifelong member. I'd, 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 I'd love to see it. What do you want? Yeah. No, I mean, this is a very attractive idea, in my view. Yeah. Incidentally, there, there is a little museum, a tiny little museum, uh, on behalf of British shipbuilders in Sunderland to deal with the shipping heritage, and it, it, it relies completely on, on, on donations, and it's tiny. I haven't been. I just know about it. Um, but it just shows that the interest is there. Yeah. So, Thank you very much, Jane. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done.